love that curve right there. See, that's not bad. He has seen us through the good times. It's a great life. And the bad. I've been allowed to be in places that most other people are roped off. And we have seen ourselves through the eyes of Greg Gilbert. There we go, good. I think, you know, I'm always looking for photos. For more than half a century, Greg has captured the stories of our lives. It's always just being at the right place at the right time. And put them on the pages of the Seattle Times. You look for moments. <laughs> Chip Hanauer flying upside down in a hydroplane. The lightning photo was probably the one that I hang my hat on only because it was such an amazing event. Union Nora 470. There are some pictures that I look at and think, gee, did I really shoot that? He's photographed the powerful and the famous, including author Kurt Vonnegut. He had two open packs of Pall Mall cigarettes and there was smoke enveloping him all the time. So I quickly ran back to the car and I got two more lights and I put them behind his head so the light would pass through the smoke. In 1995, Greg scored a first from aboard Boeing's inaugural 777 transatlantic flight. It was the first time in the history of photography that a, a digital image or any kind of a photo image was transmitted from the air and published. He'll go almost anywhere to get the shot. So this is me in the crane shooting back at the building. And that's the picture that I got. How close can you get to the action? Greg created a remote triggering system to catch 1999's King Dome implosion at just the right moment. It took me about 10 days to plan that picture. And scaled the ceiling to catch this famous photo of skater Peggy Fleming. That turned out really beautiful. I, I really like that shot. When he's not on the job, he's aboard his floating home, a 93-year-old boat named Winifred. I've lived on it for almost 20 years. It sleeps six, eats eight, and drinks 33. <laughs> he restored the 46-foot yacht himself. Oh, it's, it's invigorating. It's, it's, you know, the life on the water is just the best. But even here, Greg keeps his cameras at the ready. One time I had just three little chicks on a piece of wood just floating by, no mom or dad or anything. Now in his 70s, Greg Gilbert has no plans to retire. Someone asked me one time, are there any photos that you regretted taking? And I said, no, there are photos that I regretted not taking. He'll keep on clicking and keep following his own best advice. For heaven's sake, have the picture in focus. <laughs>